This is Food Steam Ahead and today we're doing an equipment review about tea steepers. Um, first of all I would like to apologise for my voice. If you follow me on social media you'll know I got hit hard by a nasty cold and it took my voice and I'm still recovering. If I start coughing I really am sorry. The other apology is I am filming this on my phone because I have no access to a computer at the moment. It means I can't edit it either. So you're going to get some funky shots. It's going to be kind of clunky but I hope you'll bear with me. So as you can see, here are the tea steepers. <clears throat> there are 10 in all, all different. Um, I've lined them up in capacity or what I think has the smallest to the greatest capacity. So the smallest I would say is the little umbrella, which is very cute. Uh, to the little man, to the music note, uh, the owl, the fish, then we've got the swan, black swan, uh, a scooper, I'm going to call it a scooper, it's like a strainer steeper mixing one, uh, my favourite, or it's already popping its lid, the skull and crossbones, because I'm a little bit of a goth, uh, the tea strainer, um, not tea strainer, tea bag, and the, I'm going to say manatee, could be a walrus, but I'm going to say manatee. Um, the majority of these are all made of silicon. Some bad silicon. For instance, the little man. As you see, he's super squishy. Um, he's also already popped an arm in the opening that I had to quickly stuff back in, which is not filling me with confidence. Um, some of them are made from a bit harder silicon, like you saw the skull. It's not so squeezy. Um, but three of them, the Music Note, Swan and Scooper, are all made with this solid plastic. Now the one thing I'm going to say already is I have some concerns. The Manatee, for instance, bring it over here, it doesn't look like it's put together well it looks like the head is going to pop off with one hard dunk a few of them are like that as you may have already noticed uh, so that's a bit worrying also it picks up dirt i mean just look can you see that just from the air it picks up schmuck it picks up crumbs it picks up hair and it it doesn't feel sanitary really or hygienic um, the plastic ones, though, they're just fine. They don't do anything. They don't pick up any dirt. So I am already leaning towards the plastic ones on my favourites. Um, but we shall see. Obviously, I will be washing all of these uh, to get that schmuck off um, before we start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these away. I'm going to stuff them with Earl Grey tea leaves. Um, and see what their capacity is really like and the ease that they're going to uh, be filled. And I'll get back to you. All right, so I have been busy filling these. Um, I must say there are certain um, ones that were really diff difficult to put the lid on. The umbrella was super hard. Um, the, the really hard plastic note, it really was hard to get back on. I really struggled with that. Um, otherwise... And the only other thing I would say is that the manatee is so big that could fill a teapot. Um, if you don't know tea making, there's sort of a general rule, which is uh, one teaspoon of loose leaf tea um, to a steeper. Um, if you're making a pot, you do one spoon for yourself, uh, one spoon for your guest and one spoon always for the pot. That manatee, it will take that. You could put that floating in your pot of tea if you wanted to. It's it's huge. The rest, I would say, are purely for one person. Um, now, there's another thing. They're leaking the leaf, which is not great because that means you are going to get that in your mouth. Um, some are fine. Little man's doing well. Uh, that's not too bad. These are all... Oh, a little bit there. Can you see that? Um, the worst culprit so far is the swan. It's just cascading out. Um, but otherwise, 
they're not too bad. They all have uh, one teaspoon of loose leaf in and I'm about to fill them with um, about 190 ml of uh, hot water. All the cups take the same amount so we can keep this as scientific as possible. Um, so they've all got the same amount of leaf and they will get the same amount of water and we are going to steep them for five minutes. Um, and then we will be doing a taste test if I don't scold myself first and maybe wait for it to cool a bit. So bear with me, I'm just going to pop some hot water in and we'll have a look at what's going on. So the water is um, in now and they are steeping. Uh, already some issues. The umbrella one I had to scoop out because that just sunk into the cup. It's meant to hook on as you can see it now but I had to do that because of the force of the water going in uh, dislodged it and I scooped it out and it hurt. I burnt myself because I'm stupid. Um, but as you can see already, I literally just poured the water in, it's about 30 seconds. You can see the colour of uh, the brew already and which ones are clearly gonna, you're clearly gonna get a different flavour. Um, so. So you can see like the little man not really doing much. The note really not doing much. Oh yeah, the owl has not released. You can see it's trying to on its back. You know, okay. Oh, fish really good. Wow, the, the swan and the scooper are really uh, steeping quickly. Uh, not too bad. Oh God. The, the manatee doesn't seem to have done anything at the moment. Let's have a swirl and then we'll wait um, for the five minutes, uh, which is already being timed. So let's have a little swirl. Okay, that, that is a good action though. Uh, little man is kind of supposed to be proppy, but we'll have a swirl. Oh, you can see it coming out. Uh, by the way, apologies for a lot of my neck and chin. This is an excellent shot. Uh, let's have a swirl. Well, you can really see it in there. Whether it comes out or not is a different matter. Ah, uh, the owl. I hurt myself already. Okay, so look how much is coming out of the owl. So that just needs to be swelled a bit. Um, the fish. The fish is doing well. I do think it's a bit big for the cup a bit, but I do like the design of it being on a hook. Uh, so one fine job. But leaking, leaking so many leaves, that's all going to go in my mouth. Uh, the scooper um, was a different pouring system because instead of pouring into the cup like I have with all of them, you pour it directly in the hole. And so it's already going through a filtration through the leaves. So I have high hopes for that one. Um, the skull's just, by the way, the weight of this skull is fantastic. Such a sucker for packaging. Um, tea bag, ow, I have to stop putting my fingers in this. Tea bag is doing well, although, oh, look how much leaf has escaped. Oh. And, well, that's terrible. Okay, let's, let's give it a little, I think it's just too big for the cup. It is all down at the bottom of the tail, so it's not like the tea leaves aren't getting to it. It's just... It's just not great. So we're going to leave that for uh, another few minutes. Um, sorry, I was just checking uh, the stopwatch. And um, I'm going to come back. Uh, I would have taken all of the strainers out and put them by the side and have tasted them by that point because you really don't want to watch me um, tasting them all individually. It's going to be boring. Lots of me getting tea leaves out of my mouth, I suspect. Um, and so I'm just going to come back with you uh, to you uh, with the results judged by me. See you soon. All right, so I have taken them all out, the majority of all of them out, and tasted them, but I left a few in because some of them are fun when you take them out. Um, the owl, oh, that way, the owl when you take him out, oh, I'm sorry I'm a child, but it makes me laugh because it looks like he's peeing. <laughs> oh, I'm such a child. Uh, so let's put him there. Um, the skull, 
Do I get that? The skull looks like he's it's coming out of his mouth. Now that's that's just cool. So that's good. Um the brolly is super cute because I mean I don't know if you can see it but it just does that and then strains all the way through. Let's put that there. And the scooper just not so much cool but just because I really wanted you to see the ease of it. Okay, so I have them in order from worst to last and yeah the manatee uh the, the tea's behind it as you can see it was weak after five minutes so weak and there are leaves and it's terrible and the next is the fish because the leaf it just it just drops all the leaves uh the little man again leaf problems and also weak weak tea can't stand a weak tea uh the next one is swan actually really good tea but the leaf droppage we see droppage uh is just terrible as is the tea bag the tea bag just yeah but still slightly better so our top five are one two three oh no i can't count yes five uh are the number five owl um yeah it drops a few leaves the tea's good and to be fair the peeing may have won it a lot of uh votes from me um the next one is the scooper that thing of jig um it came high the tea was great um it did lose a few leaves but not so much i love it because of the way it sits on the cup so easily um and the fact that it you just pour it in and it goes straight through the tea and i really rate that i also like the hard plastic so i'm really rating that um but weirdly enough in it didn't come that far it was fourth so the next one is the skull. Yes, that's complete in, in absolute truthfulness. The scoop probably comes ahead of that. But I love the design. And I love the fact that tea comes out of its mouth. Um, so that I forgive that it probably dropped more tea leaves than the scooper. Um, the scooper probably should have come better than that. Um, the next one is the the note. Yes, it was very hard to put the two pieces together with the leaves in, but obviously for good reason there was hardly any leaf leakage and it made a damn good cup of tea and i like the plastic again it's more hygienic and then shockingly the one i was worried about i thought the lid was going to pop off um and the capacity was the smallest so probably wouldn't aerate the uh, tea leaves so much um turns out best tasting cup of tea and it hardly dropped anything so yeah, the umbrella is the winner. And I also would say it's probably the the, uh, the cheaper, more squishy silicon. So it's not even the high-end silicon. And I think I paid 20p for that. So, yes, the um, umbrella is the winner. So I'm just going to move. Sorry if you feel a bit sick. But I'm going to move the camera a bit because it's really hurt my neck to ah to have my head bowing down the whole time. Um I'd like to thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, please uh, press the like or subscribe or leave a comment. Um, and I will be doing another equipment review next month. And that will be about um, water and water transport and water bottles. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry uh, about the phone and the voice. Sorry. And I hope next time it will be easier for you to watch. I hope you enjoyed. I've been food steam ahead.